everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is another few days in my life where I try to do some autumn activities to get in the mood for the upcoming fall months. First off, I got a new matcha from my favorite tea shop. I also got ML Rio's new book which came out very recently. I absolutely loved her first work If We Were Villains so I'm so excited to dive into this one. Today I'm visiting a museum which I haven't been before. It's called the Riverside Museum and it was designed by the famous Zaha Hadid. This museum, which is located at the junction of Rivers, Kelvin and Clyde, houses Glasgow's amazing transport and technology collections which have been gathered over the centuries. This museum shows that Glasgow has made great contribution to heavy industries like train manufacturing and shipbuilding. There is also a recreation of the main street in Glasgow and how it looked uh, 100 years ago. They recreated different shops such as a photo atelier, a bootmaker's shops, an old bar and so much more. I absolutely loved this recreation of the old streets and shops. You may not know but I love the aesthetics of the 18th uh, 19th century so this was so interesting to see. Did you know that Glasgow has the third oldest subway systems in the world? Yes, the very first subway was made in London, the second in Istanbul, and the third was created in Glasgow. The subway in Glasgow isn't really that intricate and it is in a circular form, but it's interesting to know that they were the third nation to have the subway system. The museum is filled with incredible vehicles such as big trains, old buses, carriages and so much more. While I was visiting this museum, I thought about the fact that I wish we were still using this aesthetic for everything. 
like it still have the same up-to-date technology as we do today but style it in the ways that it looked like how it did back in um, i don't know for example 18th century i think there is a movement in art called retro futurism which kind of has the same aesthetic that i like what do you think do you like how everything looks nowadays all shapes and minimalistic or do you also like to have more angles more shapes and a lot more details let me know in the comments. Another activity that I've been meaning to do during fall is collecting leaves. Fortunately for me, Glasgow has a great variety of trees that have different shapes of leaves, so it's so fun to just walk around in a park or in a more morbid place, a graveyard, to collect as many cool and beautiful leaves as you can. I don't know if I want to make anything with them yet, for now I'm just pressing them between the pages of a book, we will see what happens in future. This is also my favorite spot. As a child, I always liked to sit in a tree, but I never got the chance, so this is like living my childhood dream. The trees are truly magnificent creatures, full of wonder and whimsy.
After that awesome time, I stopped by Aldi to see if they had Halloween snacks and they did. So to do another autumn activity, I got this gingerbread cookie decoration kit. This activity is mostly for Christmas time, but they have the Halloween version of it, so I'm going to try it. So as another activity that you can do in autumn is to get one of these cookie decoration kits or you can make one on your own and then put on your favorite comfort cozy movie and have fun. Surely this is not the best decoration ever but I had a lot of fun and that's what counts. Thanks for watching and see you soon.